This Friday, August 11th, and this Saturday, August the 12th, there will be a very special film screening that will be happening that combines the two worlds of filmmaking and ceramic art. Moral Injuries, The Art of Jordan Van Sewell is a documentary that showcases the life and work of one of Canada's most unique and creative artists, Jordan Van Sewell. For those unfamiliar with Jordan Van Sewell, he has been creating and earning a living from his art for more than 50 years. Specializing in ceramic sculpture, his works can be seen in some of the most prestigious art collections around the world. Filmmaker Nicholas Trishan has been working as a screenwriter, producer, and director for production companies such as Force for, Enter- Force for Entertainment, E1, and Great Pacific Media. And for the past three years, he has been working as a producer for Winnipeg's Black Watch Entertainment and is the producer of Moral Injuries, the art of Jordan Van Sewell. And joining me here in our classic 107 studios to talk about Moral Injuries, I am joined by the one and only Jordan Van Sewell and filmmaker Nicholas Trishan. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Jordan. It's nice to have you here. Hi, Chris. Good Mm -hmm. to be here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jordan, it's great to have you back here in studio. You've been here several times before. Uh, I want to first start out the conversation by asking how the summer's been for you so far. The summer's been really good, and it's it's always nice to come back to the air-conditioned luxury of the studio here to tell you all about it. I uh, went away to the Okanagan, and uh, I did a big round trip in our van and uh, explored life on the other side of the Rockies, and then... um, I'm I'm back here and I'm back at my bench, uh, still hammering it out. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay, so you've been working on this brand new project with Nicholas. Can you talk about the project and tell us about what exactly the documentary is? As I uh, as I see it, it is a day, a, 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 a time in the life of an artist, and uh, I think Manitoba has many stories to tell about their artists. And I'm honored uh, that Nicholas chose me to uh, put in his film because uh, Moral Injuries, I think, uh, is, ends up being an accessible film for all. And it's about, it's about the life of an artist. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. Uh, how did you get interested in Jordan Mensel and what made you want to make a documentary about him? Well, uh, I spent most of my life uh, in Vancouver, British Columbia, but I did grow up in Saskatchewan as a young man and recently moved to Winnipeg with my family, I guess about three years ago. And in getting to know the landscape of Winnipeg and trying to become a true Winnipegger, you know, you got to go to the Forks and you got to get in to see what the scene is. And Jordan was someone that stood out right away. His art uh, made me take notice. And many people were mentioning his name, saying, you know, you have to meet this guy. And when we met, I was interested in him right away. I liked his vibe. I think he's a brilliant artist. And uh, a conversation began. And I think just my background as a filmmaker, uh, you know, eventually once uh, I thought it was a good enough time to maybe say I was interested in doing something more, I pitched it to Jordan and we went from there. (laughs) And Jordan, how did you react when uh, Nicholas approached you about the project? Well, I'm always uh, in shock when when someone gives you acknowledgement because, uh, you know, admittedly what I do is is a very uh, interesting role to hoe. So uh, in conversation with Nicholas, I saw that we shared a lot of uh, uh, a lot of ideas and a a very similar outlook on life. So that for me was uh, was an immediate green flag when he said, how do you like this idea? And uh, (laughs) You know what? It's um, it, it's nice to be able to put it into uh, his format, which is, I think, a, an exciting, relevant, contemporary way to express things. And when you take my art and put it on film, it turned out pretty swell. <laughs> and I, I should add, the reason why I bring up Saskatchewan is I think that might have been the clincher. We're both uh, Saskatchewan boys, so I think... That uh, makes three of us. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan may not have said yes if I didn't have some prairie roots, but I think we had a few things in common, and uh, yeah, that's why I think the, the connection was there. Yeah. Well, it, it's funny because, uh, you know, although that may sound that it could not hold water, I think it's quite true. I think the idea of a, a Saskatchewan sensibility... And some of my experiences as, as a young man, as a kid, uh, rival those of W.O. Mitchell or, uh, you know, uh, somebody who had an eye on what was going on. It really gave me uh, an interesting perspective. And to find that that is shared by other creatives from the prairie 
it's uh, you become a, a force. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so, Nicholas, once you realized the project was going to be a real thing, uh, can you talk about where the shooting took place and some of the locations that you shot at and you highlighted? For sure. Well, you know, obviously I, I did pitch it to the CBC, Manitoba, and they were excited and they went for it. And once we knew it was real, uh, my intention was to really kind of capture uh, Jordan's world. So that is very much Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's roots in the forks and roots in the neighborhood uh, where Jordan lives and then the art community and just kind of following Jordan's day to day. You know, I think it's important to get a feel for the artist and what makes them tick because I think that allows you to understand what inspires them. So it honestly was Winnipeg uh, and the outskirts a little bit because mm -hmm. I think we had to capture the sensibility of the prairie and maybe the railroad and mm -hmm. the big sky and the fields, but also the exchange district and the forks. So it's a little mini love letter to Winnipeg. Oh, that sounds great. I have to ask about the name. Uh, I've heard of being morally bankrupt. I've heard of being morally broken, <laughs> but morally injured. <laughs> Where did the, the title come from? Well, I, I'll just start it off, but Jordan can tell you a lot more and better than I can. But just, you know, you never really know what the title is when you start a project, I find, and you kind of discover it as you go. And in our conversations, Jordan would tell me about, you know, these moments of moral injury or someone that morally injured him and how he would kind of cathartically dispel that through his art by creating something to kind of challenge a bully or to challenge an idea. And I just thought how brilliant in a day and age where we talk about mental health and how, you know, people or society or our environment brings us down, Jordan chooses to flip that, you know, on its head by challenging the moral injuries in his life through his art. And I thought it was brilliant. Jordan, you want to chime in on that? Uh, if I could, <laughs> because the, the, the idea of a moral injury is something that I think everybody experiences. And uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the world uh, doesn't equip these individuals on how to deal with it often. And uh, I think a culmination of moral injuries can lead to uh, a less than happy individual who uh, is unfulfilled in their life. So for me, you know, through art, through humor, through uh, exploration, through investigation, and I guess most of all through my own uh, intestinal fortitude, I, uh, you know, carry on. And, and the idea that people can, uh, can and do interrupt and, and actually do a lot of damage, moral and otherwise, to people, it, uh, it's kind of a, it's an underlying mission that we should all carry with us mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. uh, defeat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicholas, when you were filming, was there anything that you found particularly interesting or inspirational about, the pro about Jordan's process and the project? Well, I was definitely inspired at his skill. And he, you know, he, he has a total mastery on his craft and on the product. So I think part of the documentary is watching him work and start a project. And I like just uh, sometimes in a documentary, it's those quiet moments where you watch someone work that I think are really inspiring and captivating. Mm -hmm. And Jordan, how about you? Was there anything that while you were uh, watching Nicholas work that made you go, man, aha, this is crazy? Well, it is interesting because uh, when you're uh, having people observe your own work and, uh, and kind of uh, you know, dissect it for the purpose of a film, you too uh, begin to see some of the things in your own world. And so uh, to revisit or to... Uh, um, y you know, maybe further clarify some of the uh, things that I uh, uh, have worked on, have, have come to believe in. It's nice to be able to articulate them through, uh, through this process. Uh, so let's talk about the screenings that are going to be happening on Friday and Saturday, the 11th and 12th. Uh, Nicholas, can you fill us in on the details? What time and where can people see Moral Injuries, the art of Jordan Van Sewell? Well, it's 8 o'clock Central Time, and then Friday is streaming on CBC Gem, mm -hmm. their streaming service. Yeah. And then on CBC Manitoba following day on Saturday the 12th mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock as well. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the conversation uh, by asking you both, what do you want people to take away from the film? Nicholas, maybe I'll start with you. Well, you know, I am passionate about passionate people. And, you know, Jordan is someone that... I think has a lot to say and is a, a brilliant craftsman. And I think by watching 
an artist work and put their heart and soul and passion into a piece. I hope that inspires people and maybe inspires the next generation of artists to do the same and just challenges people to, you know, ask big questions and want to learn more and just kind of just really support your local artists and embrace them and uh, and push it as far as you can. Mm-hmm. And Jordan, how about you? Well, I think that the uh, the validation is important that can come out of a, a, a project like this. And uh, the idea that you can expand your audience is important as well. And I think that when people realize the uh, the significance of art and that uh, it is really, it's an important part of our society, uh, I'm certainly happy to uh, uh, put myself out there and, and allow the world to see what's going on in the studio and the mind, the warehouse of an artist, because uh, I think it's... Um, you know, it's healthy living at its best. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to just wrap the conversation by asking, uh, Nicholas, once the screenings have happened, uh, what's going to happen with the film Moral Injuries, the art of Jordan Van Sewell? Uh, once the screenings are done, what's what's the film? What's going to be happening with the film? Well, we have ambition to kind of get it out there and not only just share it with Canadian audiences, you know, uh, as far as getting it across Canada is one thing. But, you know, there are many really great documentary film festivals around mm-hmm. the world. And there's a, a, a big interest in art. And also uh, I, th- I find a huge uh, interest in ceramics as of late. And I just think uh, a lot of people want to see this and we want to share it with them. So hopefully uh, kind of like an international uh, screening would be fantastic as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jordan and Nicholas, this has just been great to have you here today. Uh, prairie filmmaker making a film about a prairie artist. What could be better? All the best. Uh, for our Classic 107 listeners, you can find out more about Moral Injuries, the art of Jordan Van Sewell, and the screening by going to classic107.com. I've written an article about the screenings and the film, and you can find out more details there. Jordan and Nicholas, thanks again. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank you.